Hey guys, I will be reading you Sunflower, and and here is the author, illustrator, author, illustrator. In case you forgetting, it's David M. Squidward or whatever, and the and the illustrator is Dwight Young. He he took all of the pictures, so he is still an illustrator. I am home and. And I'll be reading you this. Oh no! It's on the sunflower page too. Remember, like I said, the hands are there, you know. So I'll be reading you these sunflowers are are the giants of, of the garden with their big yellow flowers. They are very welcoming. Not all sunflowers are big. Some are no taller than your knee. But many tower over your head, standing eight feet tall or more. A giant sunflower begins with a small seed. The seashell or sea coat is striped. When water enters the seed, it swells and cracks. Open up a small root, pushes out and grows down into the ground. Next, a small stem. Wait, next a small a small stem grows up toward the sun. The first two leaves called call seed leaves push up the seed coat. The seed leaves wear the seed coat like a hat. With plenty of sunlight, the seed growing grows quickly. New leaves appear. Appear. The leaves are like food batteries for the for the sunflower plant. The leaves make sugar using sunlight, water, and the gas in the air called carbon carbon dioxide. At the top of the sunflower stalk, a flower head forms and opens. It looks like one giant flower, but it's a really many little flower clustered together. The little flowers are called florists. There are two kinds of florists. About 2,000 dark florists are packed in the center of the flower head, or head. Around them are about 20 florists with bright yellow petals. When the flower head first opens, the dark flowers are inside little buds. Then these buds open nectar. And the flowers attracts bees and other insects. The bright yellow petals around the flower head also helps the bees find find the and the sunflower. The bee moves from the forest to forest, feeding on nectar. On the on the way, they carry powder pollen from the 
part of the flower head to another. Ouch, B is hurt, so you better like freeze whatever it is. You don't want to start bothering them. You want to. When pollen lands on the forest, a seed begins to form. So soon the flower head has many new seeds and many white bloom whitly florist. You can pluck a seed from the flower head to see what it looks like. It may still have worth a challenge. The seeds grows larger and turn darker by the by fall the flower head is so heavy that it drops from the weight the seeds birds squirrels and other animals may find and eat the, the tasty seeds if you're lucky, maybe you'll get there first. Sometimes the sunflower seeds are not eaten and they fall on the ground. When the soil warms up and the spring rains fall, the seeds will begin to grow. The sunflower life cycle will begin again. Alright guys, can you put these in order? Like I said, if you put those in order, I want, can you please text me, call me, Skype, FaceTime, Gmail, or email, but guess what, I have an iPhone and, and I can, and I can, And stuff, and I want to know if you put these in order or not. So see, but you'll have to put those in order to tell me, because I really want to know. And here is the answer. And this last page says answer. And here is all of the series right here. Well, guys, thank you for listening and I might read the maple tree I love maple trees I may read that or may not but we'll see alright guys thank you for listening and and thank you guys for listening and and I hope you have a great afternoon and it's 2 24 p.m. Tuesday, July something, 2015. Bye! We love you. God is love. Don't forget, I love you all. Only thumbs up, no thumbs down. Only thumbs up. Thank you guys. Bye!